What's up everybody in Metal Nation land? This is Joe Morris and we're talking custom paint. We don't treat our bikes like pretty objects. Uh, remember that movie Footloose where you weren't able to actually touch your partner when you were dancing? Well that's what we think about shiny bikes like this bike behind us right here. The guy on the couch named Brent is usually the one that sands these bikes, but a lot of times I like to sand them while they're still on the bike. You'll notice I only took the seat off. On the tank, first thing I gotta do is remove this ugly, tinny badge. It's not ugly because it says Harley Davidson, because that's the part that's cool. It's ugly because it's not J-Moto style. got a lot of sanding to do on this bike but I'm not going to show you that because I don't want you to fall asleep watching me scotch bright a whole bag or kind of like uh, when our guy on the couch falls asleep. Uh, that's not a good sign of excitement to me so I'm more excited about this tank right here. Um, I got an idea the client actually came in and he's seen our 1974 shovel head build that we we're doing for a client and uh, it looks like a barn find. It looks like uh, oh this truck we painted. It was a 1950 truck and it actually had no rust on it and I made it completely look like this barn fine look and it had a little bit of a reddish hue to it so that's what I'm going to start with. I'm starting with uh, an acrylic base paint. It's 100% waterproof when it dries. We'll talk about different clear coats when I'm done with this that also will make it chemical safe uh, especially if you're uh, sloppy with putting gas in your tank or you got dumb friends uh, they're doing things where they spill chemicals on your bike. So anyways, I got myself a paper plate. I got myself some paint. Notice that didn't come out of an airbrush or an air gun. I don't use that here. I got one of these brushes. I'm going to paint this entire bike starting with this brush right here. It's uh, a round brush. And um, it works really good for the style of painting that I do. It's more of like a dab style. Now this red's going to look really bright at first. I'm going to take that back. More and more I add some other paint into it. And more, more and more of that relic look. That badass really tough looking look. So here's how I start. Now some of you guys, when you're watching me take that badge off, and they're like, oh, he's using a screwdriver on the tank. Whoa, he left a few little scratches on there. That's going to affect the paint. No, it's not. Now, boys and girls, don't try this with a sponge. This is not soccer mom art. You don't use a sponge when doing this. Make sure you get a brush. It can be a beat up brush, but it has to be something. Well, just let me show you how it's done. side cover is now an area where I thought I could maybe do a little shape like the front fairing and just like when I paint things in when I'm using tape I kind of use it as a sketch I'm kind of sketching my idea in as I go. Mm -hmm. 